When was the last time you heard a positive story about airlines? Most airlines make the news for something negative, whether it's forcibly removing passengers from a plane for no reason, permanently losing luggage or worse. Here, however, is an airline story you wouldn't expect. When a flight attendant asked a mom to get off the plane, she was confused and thought she had taken the wrong flight. When she found out the real reason, she was completely shocked and her world turned upside down. Before we start, can we get this video to 1000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Peggy Bull is an ordinary American. Proud mother and devoted wife, Peggy enjoys life and believes in enjoying the moment. She lives with her family in Columbus, Ohio. Peggy's number one priority is her family, and she can't imagine what she would do if something terrible were to happen to one of them. However, Peggy's philosophy is that you can't live with fear, nor can you pass it on to your children. That's a great motto, especially since she's the mother of three athletic sons, all of whom are pole vaulters. The day starts normally. Peggy had just finished her vacation and was ready to catch her plane at the airport for a trip home on Easter Sunday. She is traveling alone, and her husband and sons will not be joining her on the flight. She had managed to board her flight very early in the morning from Raleigh-Durham, NC, on Southwest Airlines. The flight went off without a hitch. Upon arrival in Chicago, she had an hour to change planes to arrive at her final destination, Columbus, Ohio. So far, everything was going well and as planned. Since Peggy had less than an hour between her two flights, she didn't turn on her phone to check her messages when she ran to catch her second plane. She didn't want to miss her flight home. Also, it was early morning and the chances of receiving messages were apparently low, so Peggy didn't think she was missing anything. She couldn't have been more wrong. Despite the early morning exhilaration and the need to rush from plane to plane, Peggy arrives at her connecting flight. Once on board, she settles into her seat and prepares for the return trip. Once all passengers are on board, the doors are closed, the plane goes through the usual security protocol, and the plane begins taxiing on the runway as usual. Peggy will be home in no time. Or at least, that's what she thought. Peggy and her traveling companions didn't get far before there was a sudden change in plans. Without warning, Southwest's plane stops and turns around on the tarmac at Midway Airport. The plane begins to return to the boarding gate. It didn't take long for confusion to set in and everyone on the plane to realize something was wrong. What could have happened? It didn't take long for a clue to be given as to why the plane was turning around, but neither Peggy nor the other passengers ever guessed the exact reason. As the plane approaches the boarding gate, a flight attendant approaches Peggy. She calmly tells him that she has to get off the plane and follow her. Peggy is incredibly confused. What happened and why is she the only one who has to get off the plane? At first, Peggy thinks she accidentally took the wrong flight. After all, it was early and the connection was quick. Following the stewardess, she began to retrace everything she had done, trying to figure out where she had gone wrong. Once back at the gate, the stewardess told him that Peggy had taken the right flight but that she had to call her husband immediately. Peggy's heart began to beat faster and faster. The seconds feel like hours as Peggy anxiously waits for her husband to answer his call. Upon boarding the flight to Colorado, Peggy was given priority boarding so she could settle into her seat and get ready for the flight. The trip to Denver was not easy for her, as she was concerned for her son's safety. The airline had already impressed her so much with the way they treated her that she couldn't believe what happened next. When the flight finally landed in Denver, Peggy was allowed to disembark first. As she got off the plane, the stewardess gave her a packed lunch so she could go straight to the hospital. Her luggage being on her way to the hotel, all she had to do was find her son's way. Again, the airline took good care of Peggy. A car was waiting to take him to the hospital. She couldn't believe the effort the airline had made to help her in this tragic situation, and she hadn't had to pay a penny. Peggy drove to the hospital straight from the airport and arrived in no time. When she arrived, her husband was already there waiting for her. They were finally reunited for the first time since she had heard the news that morning. Thanks to the airline, Peggy was able to get to Denver as quickly as possible without having to worry about what to pack, where she was going to stay, how she was going to get to the hospital, or even his lunch. 
A few hours after Peggy's arrival at the hospital, her phone rings. It was the airline. At first, she thinks they'll ask her for her credit card details to cover the cost of her trip to Denver. After all, the company had a change fee policy. Instead, they were calling to find out how her son was doing. She couldn't believe it. Not only did the airline make all the necessary arrangements to get her to Denver as quickly as possible, but they also took the time to check in on her family. So what happened to his son? Fortunately, Michael, Peggy's son, survived the injury, came out of a coma, and recovered from his brain injury. Peggy was able to be with her son thanks to Southwest Airlines. She thinks she could never have made the necessary arrangements in her mindset, but the airline has thought of everything for her. Peggy is extremely grateful to have been able to support her son in his recovery. A few years later, Michael continues to recover, but he still has a long way to go. Peggy and her family continue to support Michael on his healing journey from his traumatic brain injury. He is in one of the best rehabilitation centers in the country and continues to improve. Since coming out of the coma, Michael has learned to walk, talk, and go about his daily business. He even managed to retain his sense of humor. In college, Michael was an athlete who particularly enjoyed cycling and snowboarding. Although life is no longer the same, the family is eternally grateful for Michael's recovery as they realize that not everyone has such a happy ending. But that's not all Peggy is grateful for. After her experience, Peggy says she will only fly Southwest Airlines again. During one of the most traumatic and confusing times of her life, Peggy felt fully supported by airline agents. She proudly praises them for their attention and attention to detail. She says the airline saved the day with an unparalleled sense of care and never asked for a refund. The positive impact on Peggy's life was huge, so it makes perfect sense to consider what she did next. Peggy was so impressed and touched by the kindness of the airline that she shared her moving story with the media. The retelling of Peggy's story has made the rounds on various media platforms, all of which are singing the praises of Southwest Airlines for its corporate culture that puts the customer first. Thanks to Peggy's story, Southwest Airlines is considered an airline that has set the bar high for customer service. The most amazing part of Peggy's story is that this carry was not an isolated act. Today, Peggy and her family continue to support Michael on his road to recovery, but they are not alone. Along with one of the best rehabilitation centers in the country, Peggy continues to enjoy the support of Southwest Airlines. Peggy still hears from the flight attendant who was on the first flight when she learned of her son's injury. In fact, the hostess recently arranged for a gift to be delivered to Michael at the Tampa Airport Terminal. The gift Peggy received from the airline has touched her so much that she refuses to take another flight, saying she has nothing but respect for Southwest Airlines. Two years later, the airline still shows courtesy and care to Peggy and her family when traveling. Michael uses a wheelchair and even the TSA at one of the airports they frequent makes the effort to greet Michael enthusiastically whenever he sees him. Peggy's story is an inspiration to all major companies around the world. Southwest Airlines made a small gesture that had a huge impact by putting its customers first and meeting their needs by going the extra mile. When great companies show a willingness to connect personally with intention and sincerity, it reminds everyone of the value of true customer service and underscores how working from the heart can positively impact business and the customer.